So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And now this will come up. And then once you run this, you can follow everything I'm gonna be doing up here. So first you wanna expand HK local machine. Now you want to expand system. Now you want to expand current control set. Now you want to expand control. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. You want to find a folder called storage device policies. You might not have it though, but you want to check first. So we're going to scroll down to get to the S section. You should be seeing right here, storage device policies. In my case, I do not have it. You might not have it as well. So if you do not have storage device policies here, you're going to scroll up till we find control again. Now you're going to right click on control and then click on new and then click on key. You want to call this key storage device policies. Spell it with the same capitals and lowercase as I did with the same spelling and then click on enter. Now you want to click on storage device policies, which will not take us to here. Again, you can follow everything that I did up here. And then once you run this, you should be having something right here that says write protect. Again, you might not have it. If you don't have it, then you want to right click on the white space and then click on new and then click on DY32 value. You want to call this write protect. Again, use the same spelling, capitals and lowercase as I did, and then click on enter. And then once you have right protect, you want to double click on it. Make sure that in this box right here, you have the number zero. So value data in this box, make sure you have the number zero, and then click on OK. Now for the last step, you just want to restart your computer, and then this should not fix your problem.